to be nine you get to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> in the military during World War II? What was my position on? Yeah, in, in what did you do? In the military in World War II. Oh, I was a second lieutenant platoon leader. I had about 30 men in my platoon and uh, we were part of a battalion and the battalion was part of a regiment and the regiment was part of the division. I was in the 10th Mountain Division. Could never figure out why they put somebody from Kansas <laughs> in the Mountain Division. I never learned to ski. And I think they did have it skied once for photos. But anyway, it was. I was wounded on April 14, 1945. I went out to rescue my radio man who had been hit and when I got to where he was I felt this sharp pain in my right shoulder and I couldn't move <coughs> but they the platoon had to go ahead and about eight hours later, the medics picked me up. So that's sort of what I did. I look back on 90 years, I still feel good and got a little knee trouble. I'm trying to get it straightened out, but it's slow. And so I'm in great shape. Let's give a warm Kansas welcome home. Oh, okay. You share a birthday with our daughters, so I always keep up with you. July 22nd. Him in the late 70s. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. In, in the Senate office? Yes. Uh, yeah. It was a time when um, he was doing a lot of work with George McGovern, and I helped staff the Senate Select Committee on Nutrition and Human Needs, oh, did. and it was just a phenomenal committee. What was that like? Well, were those two together? Oh, they worked well together. They had a lot of farm interest, and there was Teddy Kennedy on it, and Hubert Humphrey, and it was just like you were looking at a slice of Americans. It's been a pleasure seeing you today, Thank you very much for that.